lots of people have learned how to use Macs, but there's also a lot of people who haven't learned how to use Macs. One of the things that we um, realized is that um, a lot of our educational materials, our reference materials, um, assume that you already knew how to use the program and that what you really just wanted to know were a few details. And they didn't really um, address the process of um, making things with the software, connecting objects together, uh, um, typing in attributes and arguments, these kinds of um, activities. And um, these are the kinds of things that um, people don't necessarily always remember the details of. And there's no reason that they should have to remember them because we know what they're doing at the time they're doing it. So we can provide that information at hand when they're, um, uh, when they're performing these actions. One issue that we saw with, uh, with our usability test is uh, people who wanted to make oscillators, but they didn't know what the objects were called. And um, so they didn't know what to type uh, or where to look for the information. So uh, we've made the object box into a search box. So I can type OSC and I get a list of all the oscillators in Max. Um, and I'm going to pick this rec tilde one here. It puts it into the object box for me and then it gives me a more detailed description. Now I'll type space to start typing in the arguments. And the first one is frequency, so I'll type in 440. And I've now made an oscillator without remembering what it was called or what arguments it took. Now I'm going to make a metro object, um, but I can't remember what um, all the attributes metro takes, so I type at and I get a list of uh, all the possible attributes for metro. I choose auto start, give it an argument, um, type at again, I get my list, and I choose interval and uh, give that an argument. And now I've made my metro with two attributes uh, without having to look in the documentation. So uh, I want to uh, open a plugin in my VST object here, but I can't remember what um, the message is to um, open plugin. So I'm going to use message box auto completion. So I make a message box and I type open. And um, it notices that it's near the VST tilde object and gives me all of the messages that have uh, the word open in them. Um, so I look at um, open, but it turns out that that actually opens the edit window. So that's not what I want. It looks like what I want is plug. Um, and that puts up a dialog asking me to choose a VST plugin. So that's what I want. So I make a plug and um, then I can connect that to my VST object and open a plugin. So in this example, we have a counter going into a table, and we'd like to see um, the values going through the patch cord between the counter and the table. But rather than make a number box that we'll have to just get rid of later, we can just move over the patch cord. It highlights the selection, and we can add a watch point. And um, now, when we start the metro, we can watch the counter value just show up right on the screen um, as the numbers pass through and uh, it was a lot easier and just one step instead of adding a, a number box that we now have to get rid of. Here, uh, here's the new reference bar. Um, if I select this gate object, it immediately uh, displays all the reference information for the gate object, arguments, messages, even related tutorials and uh, other objects that are similar to gate. Um, and if I now move the selection over to this number box. Now I see the um, documentation for number, all the messages and attributes. Um, and if I want to search through that, I can type, uh, say, TRI if I'm interested in the triangle. Um, and then I can also just drag the attribute name out of uh, the reference into the patcher, and it will connect it to the number box. And now I have an adder UI object where I can quickly manipulate attributes. Uh, so if I want to change the triangle, I uh, click the color, change it to orange, and now I have a beautiful number box with an orange triangle. Another way to access this information is through the new circular menu. So if I want to look at the attributes for this button object, I can just click on this um, attributes uh, segment and I see all the attribute colors and if I want to make one I just click on it and now I have an adder UI to change the blink color. 
So uh, I have this borax object here, and I want to um, connect the pitch outlet to this number box, but I can never remember which of these nine or so outlets is the right one. So I'm going to use the circular menu, and um, I use the connect feature, and it displays all of the um, outlets and what they do, so I can easily pick the pitch one, and the outlet that um, corresponds to that pitch is um, highlighted. And uh, when I pick it from the menu, it makes the connection for me, and I can quickly just get that right to the number box. So just keep in mind that these features are work in progress and um, are just a small part of the usability focus that we've had in Max 6.